Oh. You got it. That's a big one. Dude, they're loaded down here, Cody. We're going to a pay lake today, so I gotta give the guy the call because I don't know if we can put our bass boat in. Cody talked to him. He thinks we can put the bass boat in, but this is a big boy. Like This is a Cadillac. I don't wanna drive all the way over there with the boat Dude, like an and not be able to put it in. Dude, that was... Hey, how you doing? Just fine. I was uh, giving you a call. I'm looking to come out to some of your lakes today, and I was wondering if you can put a bass boat in there. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. So this is this is a big boy bass boat. This is like a 21 footer. You have like a full Ooh. ramp. No, I haven't got nothing. Is there a lot that we could fish from the bank if we were to to do that? Oh, oh, oh yeah, you can fish it. You know about all the way around it, and a uh, uh, four acre pond. It's got 10 pound bass in it too, also. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right. You have a good day. Yes, sir. Bye. We we'll did a little bank that. fishing. That's what kind of so what, what we wanted we to do. We should go anyway. out there still, but just you know, do some bank fishing. Yeah. I think so. Let's go think? ahead and hop in the car. We got an hour and a half drive. Let's go do it. So guys, we just got out to this pond and there's multiple ponds. It looks so good. It was like 25 bucks to come out here. Um, 25 bucks a person. You know, Cody's filming right now. If, if we have a lot of good luck, we end up getting a video or so done. We'll probably go try to get some more money and we'll probably just fish a little bit longer. But we're just going to try our best today, cover a lot of water. Um, I'm going to show you guys the baits I'm going to be playing around with, but it looks pretty good. I mean, you got a huge pond over here. You got a pond right here. There's a bunch of smaller ponds and then they have like a bunch of tiny ones up there. And I think that's where they breed the fish. So, I don't know, man. What do you think, Cody? I don't know, dude. I think it's going to be good. It looks saucy, don't it? It really does. I think we're out here at the right time. Yeah, it feels good, too. It's not too hot today. I've seen a few fish plop in the water. I think we're ha going to have a good day. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell right next to it. And if you could, hit the like button. Guys, that really helps the videos. Everybody that hits the like button, I love you guys so much. Like, it helps a ton. So, if you could, please, takes two seconds, hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. All right, we're about to get it started right here. We got this pond. We got that big monster pond right here. And what we're going to do, I put on a chatter donk. You know, that's one of my favorite baits to go, you know, cover a lot of water in ponds and try to catch some big ones. So our main game plan right now is to cover a lot of water, walk these ponds, kind of figure them out since we haven't been here before, see, what's, see what we're working with, and then kind of double down if we need to on some other baits. So let's go ahead and start covering some water. I swear I saw some in the water over there. I just want to see a freaking. I'm just so curious of what we're going to catch out, like the first fish. Like, is it going to be big? Is it going to be just a little small one? <sighs> Got fishing line or something, dude. Good luck getting this one out. Dude, that's annoying. Nah, I'm stuck. Oh, well, we've already broke off two chatter baits. Haven't even had a bite yet. We're just gonna have to keep on moving. There's some stuff down there. The bottom feels so interesting. I don't know what I got hung up on. It kind of felt like a stump. Looks like the water's getting pulled over there by that pipe too, dude. Like if you look over here at the stuff that's on top, it's moving. Bucks. Come out here I paid 25 bucks and lost already 20 bucks of baits without a dang bite. So we're rigging up a little Texas rig right now. I'm about to put a big worm on. It's been interesting. I don't know. We haven't had a bite yet, so I just don't know what to expect. That's what I was telling Cody. It's like, I don't know when we get a bite if it's going to be a two pounder or if it's going to be a dang eight pounder. We just haven't had nothing. So we're just going to keep on hunting, guys. We just came to this side. I think it's going to be pretty good. I think we're going to have a we're gonna have a bite here soon. I like this big worm. I smoke one now too. I really do. 
I don't see how a big one could resist this going past his nose. Yeah, I know. Not many clouds out, sunny day, calls for a worm. There's our answer, brother. <laughs> it's a one pounder. <laughs> oh man, we waited a long time for that bite, didn't we, Cody? Yeah, we did. But guess what? That might be the trick. Just throwing some slow baits today, sticking to a big worm on the bottom. I was just talking to Cody. I was like, you know, not many clouds in the sky. It's a sunny day. You know, it calls for a big worm. And that's our first fish today. Nothing big, but we, we're getting somewhere. You gotta start off with something. Feels good just to catch a bass. But he is pretty healthy. He's got a fat little belly on. Nice little bass. My old big worm. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. That was a snake. That was a big snake sitting right in front of me. Yeah, I just watched him fall in the water. That was gross, dude. It was like this long and thick, but round. A water moccasin? Yeah. Ugh. I do not mess with snakes, Cody, so. I know you don't mess with me. <laughs> All right, we're not going to joke with each other today. About snakes? Yeah. <laughs> I know I did it the other day. Oh! <laughs> if I really see a snake, or if I tell you I see a snake. That you means you see a snake. Yeah. No crying wolf today. <laughs> Every time I went fishing. Yeah. Chop you need it to off. make yourself a trail or a path. Oh, oh. He's got it. Not a big one, but it's a nice fish. Guys, we out here in this thick stuff. Holy cow, Cody, what do I do? Oh my God. I had to. <laughs> All right. Whoa, oh, he just chucked my worm. Well, hey, dude, we got us another one. Not a big one, but <laughs> hey, we worked for this one, didn't we, Cody? Yeah. We are out here in the thick of the thick, catching old bass. Look at his, uh, see that little spot on him? Yeah. Like a little scar? That's a nice little bass, about the same size as the last one. Mm -hmm. I know there's some big ones in here though, man. I know they're in here. All right, buddy, thank you, man. You gotta chuck them. There you go. Let's get it, brother. Number two. Uh, cloth right here, man. It's, a cl it's some prime uh, cleaning cool, nice material, brand. yeah. <laughs> my water fell out of my bag. Dude, are man. you being serious, bro? No, like, I, was, I was freaked out. <laughs> what is this? Dude. <laughs> that wasn't me, bro. I didn't spook you. <laughs> Dude, that was good. Oh, my well, God. Well, when you caught that fish, I was halfway from getting my water out of my bag. You know, so I just put it in there lightly. God, that's Dude, scary. we're gonna have so many highlight clips by the end of the year. I swear, every time we've gone pond fishing in the last like five months, something stupid just happened. Oh, that was good, dude. That was good. All right, guys. So <laughs> we're gonna get us another worm out. Oh man, that was funny, dude. That was good. Hey, you said we're not gonna spook each other, bro. I didn't do nothing. That was the that was the dang all, all the water bottles float. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you, dude. In this thick stuff, I was about to leave you. What here. did you really think it was? Did you, the only like, thing I could picture was a big snake moving behind me, dude. Every time, I'm not afraid of anything else, but I'm not even really afraid of snakes. But I just don't like things creeping up on me. What was that? Oh, all right. I thought something was hopping. I'm about to say now. I'm being real here. <laughs> Jeez. 
Alright, maybe we found the juice though, Cody. Maybe. Maybe we found the snakes and oh, the... Yeah, there's another boil. Is there? Dude, he... I chucked it out there, man. Never moved it and he ate it. There might be like a drop off. See how it's a little deep? I want to say this is that spot I saw that boil when we were standing way down there. Yeah, yeah. There's another one over there. See, you this might, is the thing. Have them stacked up here. So, guys, people, you know, this is a pay lake. People come out here and, you know, they go fishing and everything. Uh, a lot of people come out here. And, you know, I don't know how overpressured this place is. I really don't know. I know a lot of people fish here, or at least Cody does, in the last 10 years. But, you know, if you're really thinking about it, I don't see an old man or anybody really walking up in this stuff. Do you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is probably a side of the lake that definitely doesn't get as much pressure. So maybe we're on to something, dude. Maybe we'll really start hammering them down over here. I'm just ready to see like a big boy, man. Yeah. I don't I don't even want to see a five pounder. I want to see like a eight, nine, 10 pounder. I think it's possible, but. That's him, bro. Hey, we found him, baby. It's not an eight, nine, 10 pounder, by the way. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's better than the last one though. Dude, he's pulling, bro. I haven't really got a good look on him. He just swam up on the bank right there. Well, there we go, guys. We got our third fish today. We might've found the juice, Cody. Yep. Two casts out there, pretty much. And we got two bass. They're not big, man, but he, he did feel like a bigger one when he bit it. I had to say it, dude. I was like, yeah, I want to catch a seven, eight, nine, 10 pounder. I was like, there he is. I had to have it come out of my mouth. Yeah. But still a nice bass. But what I was saying is like, how the heck would we land one that big, Cody? Like, I would have to walk down there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I know there's more out there, dude. It's like a little drop off. I was two casts in the same spot, boom. Let me see that water real quick. You get your own water. Hey, I thought it was on your bed. <laughs> Every little noise is freaking me out, dude. Thinking of something. Yeah. Hopefully this nail don't fall. Hold on. It's like going, it's like ripping. It like started there. See how it's all dead? Now it's like ripped off. That's a big one. Dude, what? Try to get it on that side of the tree. Can you go over it? Dude, they're loaded down here, Cody. Oh, it's a briar. I got him. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Not a big one, but dude, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just a mess. Look at that one, dude. That's a two and a half pounder. Let's go, man. It's an upgrade. Dude, the worm was just sitting there, guys. I cut my finger open. I was just playing with it and my whole rod was getting pulled in the water. <laughs> you felt huge, man. Look at that one, boys. That's a good fish. What did you say, two and a half? Yep. It's a thick body. Chunky. Oh, dude, we found him, man. We found him. It was a long start, wasn't we it? For it. Two, two hours yeah. without really any bites, and now we're catching them. Let's get it. Ooh, there he is. Dude, he was flying with that bait, bro. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a really big one. I don't think it's a bad fish, but he ain't giant. Nah. It's a pound and a half or that sucker was flying. I never felt him bite it. That's why I thought he was big and he was just taking off to the right. Still a pretty fish. We just have not found any big ones yet, guys. It's been a little tough. You know, we haven't been to these places. We're just moving around, casting, casting, casting. I haven't had many bites. I mean, the bites that we have had, we've landed though. So that's awesome. All right, boys and girls, we are at pond number two today. We just left his Todd's Fish Farm is what it called, what it's called. Uh, it's just a little pay lake. We had a lot of fun, man. We went out there and it was a struggle, Cody, for a little bit, yeah, but 
you know, we put our heads down and we just covered a lot of water and we ended up catching like five, six fish, which we cannot complain about. We didn't get any big ones over there, sadly, just some one and two pounders, but you know, it was still a good time, but we just came out to this other place. I've never been here before. Cody's fished here a few times and uh, we're just gonna cover some water with this big worm and see if we can get some fish on the bank. And more importantly, just see if we can hook another good one or hook a good one today. So we're just gonna cover a lot of water and see what we can do. I think these fish are in a weird phase right now, bro. I feel like, eh. I got one. I think he's small. Yeah, he's tiny. Oh, he came off. Dude, he wasn't no bigger than that dang worm. I was just about to say, guys, I think these fish are in like a crazy funk. Like, I'd say, what would you say, the last three weeks, Cody? Like, everywhere we go, whether it's on the boat, whether it's at a pond, whether it's at a lake, it don't matter. I just feel like it's been super weird. Like, that summer to fall transition has been hitting. And it could be the hardest time of year to fish. And I, I think that's why a lot of these bigger fish aren't biting too. So he's just running with it? Yeah. I got him. Yeah! He ain't big, but I got him. Literally smaller than the worm, bro. That's funny. Dude, he's about the same size as the worm. Yeah. Exact same size. What a toad. Toad. <laughs> I have found the school of tiny fish. I mean, these are like, this thing almost looks like a dang crappie. Look how I have them hooked, like outside of the mouth like that. <laughs> that is so funny, man. It's just crazy to me how a bass that small will actually go after a worm that big. Like what? We found where the small ones are. They're stacked right out here in the middle. All right, boys, we're gonna leave this pond right here. We're about to go get some lunch. And then there's also a pond over by a hotel that we're probably gonna go fish. So let's cut to that right now. There's a bass swimming right there, Cody. Watch this. Dude, there's multiple, there's multiple. Oh. Bro, there is just, I, I saw two of them just swimming there, bro. I can't see them. I can't see them anymore, but there was two just chilling. Just chilling right there. There's a good one. Damn. There he is. That's a two pounder. Yeah. Here we go. Now we talking. He ain't quite two. He's a high one. Nice one on a worm though. Yeah. There we go. Took a second to get those to bite. I, don't, I can't tell if this is the good one that I saw or if it was another one. There's been like three fish stacked right there on that corner. That's a pretty bass. We're about to make it happen here, guys. I feel it. All right. Thank you, buddy. What a pretty fish. This is a beautiful one. You gotta love it. Thank you, man. We can release these. Instead of chucking them. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, the one I saw a second ago, but they've been just kind of chilling around there. <laughs> I, I didn't want to hit you. <laughs> I was going to like lean into it. I'm like, I'm just going to reel. Yeah. I just had a, I just could picture like the worm just flinging back and hitting the camera. I was like, I'm not gonna do that. It's a little guy. Hey, we getting somewhere, man. We just got here. Got a few fish right off the rip. Thank you, buddy. Dude, I bet. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Right up under that dock. Oh, that was dope. It's not a big one, but not a bad fish. He got his mouth open, makes him feel huge. All right, buddy. All right, buddy, calm down. Dude, this worm is smoking them today, man. A little Texas rig, guys. You know, we started off with moving baits, thinking these fish are gonna be active. They're a little slow today, and you just gotta slow down for them. That ain't a big one at all, but still a pretty little bass. Thank you, bud. Yeah, there's a couple small ones. Yeah, they're gonna eat it, you see that? Look, he just dove down on it. Oh, they're just looking at it, bro. There's like three of them there. There he is. Oh my gosh, dude, about knocked me out, bro. Dude, that fish about took the rod out of my hand, Cody. It's 
slam my neck. That was a small one. A little squeaker. A little tiny dude. Nothing much. I'm telling you, that pole almost went out of my hand. You're going to watch that back on the GoPro. All right, boys and girls, I think we're going to close off today's video, but we had a good time. We hit like four ponds today, caught some decent fish. Didn't really have any big ones, nor did we have any opportunities to catch a big one. But like I said, we had a good time. We hit a lot of ponds, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much. Peace.